All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the most common cause of a P1450 diagnostic trouble code P1450 for Fords uh, for excessive fuel tank vacuum. Okay, for the sake of the video here, I got my little pocket uh, scan tool. And we have a stored code P1450 for um, excessive vacuum in the gas tank. Uh, so there's a number of different things that can be in this video. Basically, I'm going to go over uh, two of the most common causes and an easy way you can check um, a few things under the hood to tell what you might need to fix uh, this evaporative emissions trouble code. Uh, basically what it's telling us is there's a vacuum inside the gas tank and there's only a few ways that uh, we can apply vacuum to the gas tank and one would be the purge valve sticking open which is under the hood. It purges gas vapor from the tank to the engine and basically the engine's always creating a vacuum when it's running so if that valve's stuck open it's going to pull a vacuum on the engine. Another way would be the vent valve itself sticking. If the vent valve sticks when the purge valve opens to uh, <coughs> recycle the, the gas and vapors, it's going to pull a vacuum on the tank. So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the most common cause of this P1450 excessive gas tank vacuum. I'll also leave a link to the... Uh, little pocket scanner I use in this video is a pretty handy tool especially for the do-it-yourselfer um, I actually diagnosed this vehicle with the factory software just to be a little more thorough but for the sake of the DIYer little pocket scanner that can clear and read diagnostic trouble codes is a very handy tool to have okay so let's go out underneath the hood of this vehicle and I'll show you where the purge valve is now typically evap purge valve is going to be underneath the hood and the vent valve is usually back by the gas tank and this is true for this vehicle um, I'm working on a Ford Fusion and all I had to do to access this purge valve was remove the air filter um, housing and air duct as you can see right here this is our purge valve I've actually disconnected a line that comes from the gas tank. This line goes comes from the gas tank and the other one will go to the intake manifold. I took up the line that comes from the gas tank and I installed a rubber hose and I have my vacuum pump here. Now basically you should be able to pump this vacuum pump up and that solenoid should hold vacuum until there's power applied to it. Um, the valve's normally in a closed state with no power to it and this one here is not holding vacuum. Uh, another easy test if you don't have a vacuum pump, you can just stick a rubber hose on there and you can blow into this valve. If you can blow or suck into the evap purge valve, then the valve itself is bad. Um, I actually did try blowing through this and I was able to. So, this evap purge valve is definitely the cause of our P1450 for the excessive gas tank vacuum. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and reconnect this line to the purge valve. Now depending on the type of vehicle you have, the purge valve is going to be located in different places, but like I said, typically the purge valve on most all vehicles is going to be uh, under the hood, close to the intake manifold somewhere, and the vent valve is usually going to be underneath the vehicle back by the gas tank. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video if it's helpful. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, any questions or comments, I try to answer them all the best I can. Be sure to leave them below. Thanks, Flat Marine Mechanic.